Now, how many of you believe you have loyal customers? Can I see your hands? Are you sure? How do you know? After 25 years in this business, I have finally decided there is no such thing as a loyal customer. Let me tell you why. You probably noticed I choose the color of my hair. When I was, <laughs> you're saying, really? <laughs> when I was teaching school, my school children used to say, Miss Hanley, did you know your hair's turning black next to the top of your head? <laughs> oh, sit down, kid, shut up. <laughs> Phenomenal. She's bringing out so many truths, even things that we may have already heard. We just need to be reminded until we're doing them. I just really liked her, and you could tell that she was speaking from the heart. She's one of the most down-to-earth people that I've met in a long time. I think it's amazing. She is so passionate, down-to-earth, and just sweet and genuine, and totally related to everything she was saying. The fact is that everything she's saying actually does work. All we got to do is apply it. It was so informative from the heart. She's really passionate about what she does. Jane's amazing. She's like a breath of fresh air. I feel invigorated about starting some new ideas. For years, I went to the same hairdresser. She charged me $60 to dye my hair. I felt like I was worth it. Went out and had more fun. Isn't that what you're supposed to do? Well, anyway, I had no problem with her, the product, or the price. Except for one month, she went on vacation. I got to the point of no return. I need to get my hair dyed. Some of you know what I'm talking about. So I went to a hair shop right next to my house just to pinch hit one time. And I want to tell you what happened. I walked in. The receptionist stood up from behind her desk, came around, introduced herself, got my name, and what's my first thought? I should have asked how much this is going to cost. <laughs> she said, I'd like to introduce you to the chemist who's going to dye your hair. Excuse me. Where am I? <laughs> chemist? They took me to the chemist who dyed my hair. Then they took me to a third person that shampooed my hair. She told me of the product she was using and said, oh, by the way, you can buy those there today. I thought, well, I hope they take credit cards. Mm -hmm. Then the makeup artist comes over and she says, oh, we've messed up your makeup while we're working on your hair. Be glad to touch it up for you before you go back to work. I said, no, just leave me alone. <laughs> the manicurist came over, gave me her card, said, I'd be glad to do your nails sometime. I thought, if I can get out of here without giving them my firstborn child, I will not go back. They gave me my ticket. I went back to the front desk. What did I tell you I was used to paying? $60. $60. Guess how much my bill was? 45 Did I change hairdressers? Yes. Would I have changed for $60? Yes. I would have changed for 75 I thought it was going to cost me $100 to get out of there. My old hairdresser doesn't know where I went. I just never came back. She didn't make me mad. She didn't do anything wrong. Customers are fickle. You can't trust them to keep doing business with you. Even after years and years and years, somebody lures them away, and we're like big old fish. We get hooked, and there we go. So that means that cycle of service, you have to take care of people constantly all the way around every single opportunity you get just hoping that they'll at least give good word of mouth if they float off that somebody else will come back in.